Going to university is expensive, that's for sure. However, it doesn't have to be that bad. Through the power of technology, lateral thinking, and good old-fashioned elbow grease, you can add some cash to your coffers and reduce your student debt without getting a part-time job. So in this video, we will be looking at the top 10 ways to make money as a student while you complete your studies. You don't have to do them all, but doing one or two could really help you through the financially hard times ahead. So let's get started. Number 10. Sell your books, CDs, games, and videos. We all have old textbooks lying around, maybe from school or university, or just books Ronnie gave you for Christmas that you never read. Or what about those CDs, DVDs, and videos that you never use anymore? So why not sell them? It might sound like too much hassle, but Weeby Books has made it nice and easy. All you have to do is enter the ISBN, and they will value your books for you. You print off a prepaid postage label, so you don't even have to go to the post office, and they will pay you when they receive your package. Rather than throwing your CDs, games, and videos away, why not turn them into cash through Music Magpie? All you have to do is enter the barcode. They will then give you an instant price for your goods. Box up all your unwanted inventory and send for free to receive payment once the items are received. Number 9. Tutoring Another great way to make money as a student is to put your academic expertise to good use and become a tutor. This moneymaker can be quite profitable, with the earning potential being about $25 to $35 an hour. If you like the idea of collecting the cash, you need to advertise your talents on job boards for locals to see or use tutoring sites. Number 8. Manage social media accounts. If you're ready to start making money online, chances are you're familiar with the internet especially social networking. While you are probably not ready to become a professional marketer, you may be quite adept at managing Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and other social media accounts. You might also be able to get businesses to pay you to manage their accounts if you brush up on your professionalism. This is another type of gig where you will most likely need to keep your fingers crossed. Don't be hesitant to advertise yourself and keep your personal social media pages clean and professional. Nobody wants to hire a teen who uses bad words or posts improper memes, so keep it on a private account where potential clients won't find it. Number 7. Sell digital products. Do you see yourself penning personalized poems, giving out a list of blog post ideas, or developing another form of digital product? Earn money online by using a platform like Fiverr, which allows entrepreneurs to charge $5 or more for a certain service or product. You may even write an ebook to sell on Amazon for Kindle if you're a writer. Of course, this is a long term endeavor, but you could receive passive income in the form of royalties for months or even years after your book is published. If you enjoy taking photographs, you may sell them on sites like Shutterstock or iStock Photo. This is another option to earn royalties. So, number six, social media influencer. As a college student, you can earn passive income by becoming a social media influencer. Being an influencer on platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube can be challenging, but it's quite lucrative. You can make more money by combining sponsorships, affiliate marketing, advertisements, and subscription packages. You can also use niche products to influence people's purchasing habits in the fashion, health, lifestyle, and entertainment industries. This is a highly profitable side hustle with monthly earnings ranging from a few hundred dollars to thousands of dollars. In addition, as a brand ambassador, you can expect to earn $10 to $20 per hour and receive a lot of free merchandise. The average hourly wage for a student brand ambassador is around $10.50. YouTube, too, can be more than just a distraction-filled platform teeming with cat videos and funny lip-sensing parodies. It can also grab you thousands of dollars. You probably didn't know that you could earn some serious money as a YouTuber. For 1,000 views, you can earn between $1 to $5, meaning that if you get 50,000 views a month, you'd be taking around $100. And that's just per 50,000. Getting into YouTubing is easy. Get an account and start uploading videos. Although being good at it is an entirely different kettle of fish. Being original isn't even all that necessary. Although unique content has more value. Remember that some of the big YouTubers are getting over a million hits a day 
and taking in millions of dollars yearly. Number 5. Proofread or Edit If you are a person who achieves A's on English essays and sometimes assists friends to proofread their writings, a proofreading or editing job could be the perfect part-time employment for you. If you're interested in grammar and syntax, it's no surprise that many adults don't know how to use the English language to its full potential. Some of them run their own businesses or attend college. These are the people you should sell your services to. College students usually want someone to proofread their papers, and company owners often need web content, letters, and other sorts of writing to be proofread. You're probably qualified for the job if you have an opinion on the Oxford comma and know when to use effect and effect. Number 4. Mystery Shopping It isn't as cool as it sounds, however it can be a good little learner. The general idea is that you go to a shop and buy something specific and take note of the details of the purchase, and then you get the money back for what you've spent and can get paid for the job itself. This can be surprisingly fun, but requires more thoughtful work as your reports have to be thorough. The prices for a job can range from just a few dollars all the way to a hundred. Number three, earn money with your voice. You could do voiceovers if you have a good speaking style. What would it be like to hear your voice in advertisements, web videos, radio ads, and other places? If you become a voice actor, you might find out. You can sign up with Voices.com to get your voice heard by talent scouts for well-known and unknown brands. If you ace the audition and are recruited, you can set your own fee. You'll also be able to claim a bit of fame, at least as far as your friends and family are concerned. Number 2. eBay You can view this method as a serious way to make money as a student, or just a way to clear your house of your old stuff. There are people who have earned thousands through eBaying, however, if you don't want to take it as seriously, you can just get rid of old stuff and make a little bit of side money. Number 1. Freelancing There are two big pros to being a freelancer, being able to charge what you want and being able to work when you want. A freelancer can be anything from writing a few times a week to earning over $100,000 a year. Websites like Upwork allow you to bid on a job using both a written proposal and your price to win the job. Just set up a profile and start earning. Finally, it is important to understand that side hustles are a convenient and productive way for every student to earn a lot of money while still having enough time to study and engage in other academic work. These side hustles help you acquire new skills and knowledge, gain exposure, and pursue your passions among other things. Whatever skill you have or how busy your schedule as a student is, you can try any or all of these side hustles and enjoy both the fun and the pay. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of this video. If you found this video useful, please do well to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button too for access to more content like this.